Well, the holidays are upon us and Advent has begun. And a new version of my PBS documentary and the accompanying CD, Christmas Time in New Orleans, is airing coast to coast this season. It's a love letter to my hometown and her people. Seven distinct nationalities have created food, music, and traditions that are the envy of the world through a shared faith and belief. Joining me now to talk about the 2018 edition is my producing partner on the project and president of AIM Higher Recordings, Monica Fitzgibbons. Merry Christmas. Merry Good Christmas. To see you. Right. Now, you brought a friend. I did. This what is, is our third wheel. This is the Telly Award that we won for Christmas time in New Orleans. Yeah, and, and it was for, I can't remember now, it's cult, cultural category. It was yeah. a, it was for it won the cultural, cultural insight. It won the cultural category for best feature. I love that. I love that. Now tell me why you, you, you spent a lot of time putting this music together, putting this band together, which were uh, musicians, really some of the best sidemen in the city of New Orleans, members of the Marcellus family, people from the, from the Philharmonic. How did you bring them together and what were you looking for? What were you hoping to create? Well, we wanted to, you know, be an accompaniment for your vision of the presentation of New Orleans, your love letter. And it really is an amazing jazz super group, as you say. Yeah. Very classic arrangements, beautiful CD. Of course, we can't really call them CDs for oh, much yeah, longer. That's right. Well, downloads, whatever, all live wherever in the cloud. you get your music. Anyway, we'll give you a little taste. This is uh, the NOLA players. Listen. put this in some context. I mean, we hear this great music, but the music is just one outgrowth of a culture and a people. And I, I, we strove to really let the rest of the country in on the secret of New Orleans, which is really family and faith and how these very different cultures were able to maintain unity for all this time. And it seems to me at this moment in our history in America, unity is something we all crave and need. And I love that you see and hear in the music the blending of very different styles and rhythms and tempos and genres. In the same way, the food has that character. Now, I, my grandfather w had a, a restaurant in New Orleans for more than 50 years, Tony Angelo. Um, your, and that, so that was a big part of, I think, my attraction to this project and what I wanted to do with it. Your grandmother also had a role in this. What was it? Well, she was a jazz musician. And, you know, we, our family owes her a lot because she had a big MCA contract on her desk mm. and she went off with my grandfather to Paris instead and had six kids. Wow. Well, then Elvis came in and the jazz scene moved over to Paris. Mm. Norman Grant's, there she was right in the middle playing with Stan Getz and everybody. So that was really, you know, and, and that's a lot with Kevin and my relationship too, where mm. we met in the entertainment industry in Los Angeles. We made that decision to get married, have kids, move away from there. But he very much wanted to encourage me to continue on with that passion, you know, mm. towards the entertainment, which has really moved more towards a classic entertainment. And that's really our connection here with New Orleans, because mm. as a city, as you said, food, music, the sights, the sound, yeah. there really is an organic you know, unity that we all want to share. Well, this year we're bringing something a little different. Yes. Uh, Leia Chase, who was featured in the special, we did an entirely new segment with Leia this year. Now, for those of you who don't know, Leia Chase was the inspiration for The Princess and the Frog, the big Disney feature. Um, you'll remember in that movie, the, the, the young woman wants to build her own restaurant. Well, Leia Chase has been running Dookie Chase I think it's more than 60 years. Correct. She's, you know, she's 93 years old now, an incredible fiery uh, force of nature. And she gives us a special recipe for the holidays. I'll give you just a little taste of the recipe, not what she's cooking, watch. This is what we call oysters en pâté. The Creoles always made it at Thanksgiving and Christmas time. But you always serve that at your festive dinners. It's, it's 
oysters in a patty of filo do shell. Tell me how the music, in your mind, complemented what you saw there and what surprised you most about this entire project? What did you learn through being involved in this project about New Orleans, about the people, about, about the city? Well, a lot of times we all have ideas, and this idea came together. And to go and see it through your eyes, but really your eyes are the true New Orleanian eye. Because as we really got to get to know the members of these NOLA players, and all of these beautiful chefs. I mean, your segment with Leia Chase is Look so that. adorable. But then also you bring in, you know, someone like Jim, Jim Caviezel. Yeah. And, and I think he speaks to, yes, I'm an outsider coming in here, but you're not made to feel like an outsider. It's yeah. not fake. It really is true that everybody is so excited when new people come in. It's a very artistic town. And then you sort of get underneath that with Chef Fulce, I think. Yeah. He's great about bringing in the French, the Spanish, the German, and all of their the Irish, different yeah. Spanish, various Italian. traditions through the food, through the music. It's the classic Creole Revion table. Not only this, but the fireplace behind you with the two beautiful pots of gumbo zab, and of course that wonderful corn mock shoe. That's a gift from the Native American Indian. So the whole cultures of Louisiana are sitting right here on the table. Wendell Pierce comes in and he talks about how that really brought him into the world of acting and the yeah. arts. Yeah, and the great African-American influence. Which exactly. I, I was not as focused on Plessy in the, the famous Plessy versus Ferguson case. That just case popped out. That he brings up. We just, we happen to be walking near Noco where we both went to this arts high school and there's this Press Street station there. And that was the location. That's where, where Plessy uh, had his moment where he tried to get equal rights for his people. What I love about New Orleans is it's a living history. We understand and we know where we came from, so we have a sense of uh, what's important and what our value systems are. I love that it kind of, like a gumbo, it brought in all those elements and everything kind of fits, including the music, which is so lively, so such fun. It's almost like, you know, Count Basie on Basin Street Absolutely. during the holidays. It's a little, not too much Basin, but you definitely have it. <laughs> yeah, a little, just a touch, just a touch. What's been the reaction? as you yeah. talk to people in the industry, as you talk to, to friends about this project? Well, as you know, it came out on Verve internationally, and now Danny's running, Danny Bennett, who's Tony Bennett's son, mm -hmm. is running Verve, and this was a pet project. It came out, it was a top 10 holiday hit. I think that, you know, all of the different channels that play holiday music and Christmas music have picked this up, have loved it. So that's kind of had a life of its own and then brought people back to the special. And I mean, we've seen the special several times. I still find myself smiling when I watch it. No, no it, it, it's a joyous, fun, the people are so wonderful. I tell people all the time, their vision of New Orleans is kind of this, you know, uh, Southern Vegas. It's really not yeah. at all true. We are a people of real tradition. There are deep roots there. People rarely leave. And if you leave, you come back in some way, yeah. you know. And uh, to see it through the eyes of the chefs, actors, the everyday people in New Orleans who walk into frame at some points in the in this special uh, I, is really to taste, smell, hear, feel the rhythm of the city, and that's really what we by accident found as we put this together. Yes, absolutely. I love how people just jump out of buses and are hugging and uh, uh, no. running into restaurants. I it, mean, that that was just fun. life. Yeah, it, well, it's life. It's celebration, and it's rooted in something lasting, and 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 you feel that as you watch this, um, and I think particularly. On the 300th anniversary, this is our tricentenary right. in New Orleans, on the 300th anniversary of this city, uh, with the Saints headed for the Super Bowl. Oh, from your um, lips. Yes, from my lips to Drew Brees' ears. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's the perfect time to sort of look anew at New Orleans at, at Christmas time. And I, I think it's one of the few specials that you can watch as a family. Um, and yeah. and, and everybody, everybody can find something they'd enjoy. Absolutely. You know? Monica Fitzgibbons, thank you for being My here. Pleasure. And, uh, you know, take care of the telly. Absolutely. Uh, Christmas Time in New Orleans featuring the NOLA players is available on CD from Verve. The DVD is also available at stores everywhere on iTunes, online, at Amazon.com. And for the hour-long television special or the shortened version, visit your local PBS station. The airtime and dates are there. We are also posting them on Twitter and Facebook. There's a special website. We'll direct you there to find out where it's airing on your local public television station through the new year. Do not miss it.